The Dead Sea is a man-made disaster. The Dead Sea is dropping by about a meter in depth every year. You know, we often describe the sinkholes as nature's revenge, that nature is taking revenge against the unsustainable actions of, of, of humankind. In many cases, they, uh, they fall into each other and it, it looks like a great sort of crater moon landscape. These sinkholes have, have led to a massive destruction uh, of agricultural fields, of tourism sites, of major roads on all sides uh, around the Dead Sea. It's dangerous for the public to reach the natural uh, beaches of the Dead Sea. You see all the signs? You can't go there because it's really dangerous because of the sinkhole and because of the sand is really, you can sink it. Every single day you see the decline and you might be lucky to have a, a channel of water mm. left that people will be able to put their toes in. The Dead Sea is famous for floating with a, you know, reading the newspaper and holding a, a, a glass of champagne. Um, but it also has therapeutic values. That's why Cleopatra, you know, came down to the Dead Sea some 4,000 years ago. So it would be a, a tremendous tragedy if our children and our grandchildren um, are denied the ability to enjoy this, um, this real wonder of the world. About 60% uh, of the demise of the Dead Sea is due to the fact that uh, uh, the Jordan River has been diverted, um, half by Israel, the other half by Syria and Jordan. Um, and then another 40% of the demise of the Dead Sea is very much due to the industry. The Dead Sea has some very unique minerals. Climate change makes it so much difficult um, uh, to bring water back uh, through the Jordan River to the Dead Sea. Um, but, but of course, um, that's why we need to stop climate change. That's why we're here at the Glasgow COP. The climate crisis needs to be dealt with also as a means to help save uh, the Dead Sea. I don't think that we can ever bring the Dead Sea back to its former glory. Firstly, to register the world heritage, uh, to register the Dead Sea as a world heritage site. At Ecopeace, we, we recently completed a new study that looks at the, at the potential of utilizing treated wastewater as an alternative to fresh water, and also um, uh, to change the practices of the industry to extract the minerals, but without drying up the Dead Sea. And that would uh, uh, reduce uh, uh, the drop by, by over 40%. So there are things that we can do. Uh, for instance, if we were to charge, the industry don't pay for the water that they extract from the Dead Sea. If they were to pay, then they would have an incentive to invest in alternative technologies to remove the minerals without drying up the Dead Sea. 